Six months ago, 39-year-old Dante Wilson was in a Wisconsin jail for a child support violation. He complained of chest pains. The jail nurse concluded he had heartburn and gave him two Tums. Less than an hour later, Wilson asked for help again. Relax was the nurse's advice. Soon after, Wilson died of a heart attack. The nurse told the detective weeks later. Oh, yeah, we don't want to bring it up. The nurse worked for Advanced Correctional Healthcare, a healthcare company serving 255 correctional facilities in 17 states. Dante Wilson's death was not unique. We found ACH settled at least six lawsuits with families whose relatives died from preventable causes. Like Wilson, the inmates were charged with nonviolent offenses, including Danny Ray Burden, accused of insurance fraud, a diabetic who was denied insulin. He didn't deserve a death sentence at Grant County Jail. His brother, Mark Burden, is a retired Kentucky State Police detective. Jail records show Burden had prescription drugs in his system and his cause of death was inconclusive. But a later police investigation found that Burden should have been sent straight to the hospital. Some might say, listen, you're an inmate. You, you got yourself in this position in jail. You can't expect the best possible health care coverage. I think that if you go to jail and you got a medical condition, like my brother was disclosing, an emergency condition, you should be checked out by a physician at, at any hospital. What's even more troubling for Mark Burden is that his younger brother asked for medical care and there's a hospital just next door. So close you can walk there in less than two minutes. I always protect a younger brother. If he gets in a fight in school, well, who's supposed to protect him? No, the brother. And it's just hard to accept as a family when you can't do that. Six weeks before Danny Ray Burden died, the U.S. Department of Justice sent this letter to the jail, warning unqualified staff for serving as gatekeepers to medical care. ACH would not talk to us on camera. They told us staffing decisions are dictated by local jail administration. But problems with ACH medical staff extend beyond Kentucky. One nurse in Tennessee was convicted of covering up his failure to take an inmate's vital signs. The inmate died. Another inmate in Ohio died from a bleeding ulcer, where the medical examiner concluded the need for urgent medical intervention would have been obvious to anyone. In one Alabama jail, three wrongful death lawsuits are pending, including one for this 19-year-old accused of shoplifting who was found naked with gangrene in his leg. In their promotional material, ACH claims they provide better health care than inmates would receive outside of jail and at a competitive price. They say they can save jails a lot of money. At the expense of someone's life. At the expense of my brother's life. 